Hello friends, in this video we will learn about built up breadth. So what is built up breadth? Uh, it is an add-on indicator. So let me explain you what does an add-on indicator mean. So generally, uh, it might not be the sole indicator that you will believe on and take a trade on. But generally traders have a few add-on indicators, let's say four or five add-on indicators which they will be looking at. And if three or four of them out of five are showing you a positive direction, that gives you more confidence that maybe the overall market is headed positive or negative, right? Depending on what the indicators are suggesting you. And this can also help you in position sizing so that you get more confidence that, okay, this direction is going to stay. So you can position size and increase your trade or build trades in that direction. So that's where add-on indicators are used. So let's understand how we can use built-up breadth, uh, which can help us form a viewpoint in the market, whether overall the market is headed positive or it is headed uh, negative in the short run is something that we can understand from the built up breadth. So before we go to the tool and understand built up breadth, let me explain you what does built up mean. Okay. So if you look at built up, there are two types of built up. One is, so there are four types of built up, but we learned two because these two are more important for this analysis. So if you look at the built up, one is long. So what does a long mean? Long means that the price is going up. Right, so the instrument price or maybe the nifty is actually going up. But we also need to understand whether this up move is happening because short sellers are covering their trades or is it happening because longs are getting built fresh, which means that people are taking new positions. So a sustainable up move will only be when people are taking new positions, right? So how do you define that? You define that with OI. So that's why we say that when the price is going up and OI is also going up, then it's a long built up. Similarly, if you look at short built up, what happens is that the price is going down, but the price is going down can again have two scenarios. Maybe somebody bought earlier and they are squaring off their trade. If that is happening, then it's, it might not be a sustained down move, right? So we we'll also have to see the OI where the new contracts are getting added, if that is happening, then we can call it a short built up where the price is going down and the open interest is going up. So it is called a short built up. So once we know long and short built up, it will tell us or give us more confidence or tell us what is happening inside the market, right? So let's go to built up breadth and understand what does this chart tell us? So what is this chart all about? It is tracking all the future stocks that are available on the exchange and it is telling that how many number of stocks are building longs which is the green color that you see right so you can see it is defined right there where long is a green color so these many stocks are building longs and how many stocks are building short positions so if you look at this chart any child will also be able to understand that greens are more which means that when you look at this chart it tells you that if i'm trading for the day this is an intraday chart right now so if I'm trading for the day, my view should be positive. I should not be taking short trades because the market breadth is more on the long side. So this will help me in forming a view and accordingly I can go and maybe take a trade on Nifty or other stocks also because if the overall market is going up, most of the things are going up. If I have to go and check this on a positional basis, I can do that as well. So what I'll do is I'll select the time frame. You can see there is three minutes, five minutes, 15 minutes, one hour but I'll choose one day if I'm doing a positional analysis. So you can see that the same concept can be plotted with a daily data. So let me guide you through with two of the signals. So if you look at this, when the longs suddenly went very high, that was on 29th February, right? When you can see that the long had a very big expansion. So when something like this is happening, that the longs, number of stock which are building longs are very high, then you can see that till 2nd March, which is for the next three days, the market actually remained positive, right? So it was indicating on 29th that maybe if you have a short trade, you should temporarily square it off and maybe take short term positions towards the long side. Now what happened on 4th March is that you can see that there's a spike in short positions, which is again telling you that now the short positions are taking over. So you'll have a view that, okay, now if I have longs, I should square it off and I should go and build short trades. 
and then you can see from 4th March all the way to 13th March is when, so approximately 9 days, uh, you can see that most of the stocks were building short trades. So what does this tell you? This tells you a viewpoint that from 4th March to 13th March, if you were trading, you had a very clear view that shorts are expanding, which means that you should not be building long trades and taking short trades. So this is how built up breadth can help you in forming a view for the overall market and then accordingly sizing your position or maybe forming a trade in that direction can help you increase your strike rate. And uh, if you have not, so if you're watching this video from Inside Concept, uh, I already showed you where you can see built up breadth. If you have not downloaded Concept yet, then uh, you can find the link in the description box from where you can download Concept and you can use this built up breadth utility to go and form a view on the overall market. Thank you.